Stuart, I'd like to try to understand uh, the nature of, of aesthetics and, and why human beings and why all of us have such great passion for beauty as expressed in music or all different other kinds of things. Um, and neuroscience tries to explain it through parts of the brain and resonance, etc. Um, what can we learn from neuroscience or, or physics, for, or, uh, in addition, uh, about the, uh, our capacity to appreciate aesthetics? Well, neuroscience can't explain normal consciousness, so I don't see how they can explain you know, <laughs> aesthetic values and, and consciousness. Roger Penrose had the idea that aesthetics as well as ethical values were platonic values literally embedded in the fine scale structure of the universe. That mathematical truth, aesthetic and ethical values as well as uh, conscious qualia are actually patterns or some kind of uh, properties intrinsic to the universe, maybe down at the Planck scale or, or some level, uh, without, uh, without being specific whether it's twisters or spin networks or whatever it is intrinsic to the universe. So when we have our conscious moments, when we have our ORCO, our orchestrated objective reductions happening in our brains, uh, the choices and the perceptions of each collapse and each, the content of each conscious moment are influenced by these platonic values. And this could influence you towards, uh, in an ethical sense, towards good, making a good choice, uh, or in an ethical sense, uh, appreciating beauty and humor. So uh, what's built into the universe is, uh, in terms of these ethical values, uh, actually influence our conscious perceptions and choice. You might think that uh, if you're appreciating beauty, you're resonating with, with uh, that value embedded in the universe. Yeah, that sounds very Eastern in terms of uh, yeah. almost musical cycles yes. and uh, music of the spheres and cycles of, of that. Is that, uh, do you give credence to that? Well, I, we're consistent to some extent with Eastern, Eastern uh, spiritual uh, philosophy. I. Uh, I would say, uh, since consciousness is happening at the level of space-time geometry in our view, normally that between our ears and the microtubules in the brain, that uh, and higher, frequency, higher frequencies could even occur independent of biology, because once you get really high frequencies, the energy actually goes lower, and it, it could, it, in principle, exist independent of the body, at least transiently. I think consciousness could be described as not only music, but the music of the universe, since it's embedded in fine scale geometry and is occurring at that level. Normally here, but in principle elsewhere. Uh, when you talk about platonic values, of which certainly much in aesthetics would be, as embedded within the fine scale structure, what, what, what does that mean? And it seems like the two are radically different kinds of things when you deal with the fine scale structure of the physical world, even if you go to the Planck scale. Um, and then you deal with platonic values, which really has a, an existence in a, in a whole other sphere of existence, if it exists at all. I don't think it's a different sphere. I think it's all happening, uh, you know, we don't really know what the structure looks like, but it, you know, Roger Penrose suggested it embeds uh, platonic values in mathematics. So it's all geometry. So uh, why not also ethical and aesthetic values that, uh, that influence our conscious thoughts? And it makes, uh, you could say that, uh, as I said before, we resonate with these platonic values when we make conscious choices and perceptions. So let's just follow through how that would uh, work. So at the finest structure of the universe, at the Planck scale, there is somehow embedded mathematical uh, uh, abstract objects and, and other abstract objects of aesthetics and beauty and things like I'm that. I'm not sure they're so abstract. I mean, they're abstract because they're at that small level, but they're real in terms of being geometric patterns. And and it may be somewhat fractal or holographic, so it's a Planck scale, but it repeats uh, okay, at different so, so scales. Okay, so now we have that there. And then, and then consciousness is, um, is associated with the, the quantum effects, which is uh, higher than the Planck scale, right? Well, the, the conscious member, if, if you think of collapse as a separation in space-time geometry, and then it collapsed to one or the other, in, in that space-time geometry, however it's manifest, the, uh, the platonic values, uh, aesthetic and ethical values, mathematical truth are embedded. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to point you in one direction or the other if you're mindful and don't act reflexively or rationally. And, and, and this is even though it's so incredibly small, the Planck scale is you know, 10 to the minus 40. But superpositions go down to that level, plus it can repeat it at, uh, hierarchically in a, in a fractal-like way. And, and when you build all of that together, then when you have a whole brain, then we're, we're able to look at uh, 
a, a, a Picasso or hear a Beethoven symphony and we can appreciate it because of the summation of all of those superpositions in, the, in gazillion ways all coming together. Or a sunset in, in the Arizona desert. Yeah, yeah. that's right. That's it's right. A, it, it, just, it resonates. It's, it's beauty. And uh, when we resonate with it, we have that qualia, that perception of it. You know, it sounds so absurd. But yet, in order to in order to explain it, it has to be absurd. It's Whether you, your kind of absurd is the one that works, I have no idea. But I do know that the answer has to at least, from a super, from a uh, macroscopic, superficial point of view, it, it has to be absurd to our our uh, our, uh, our our own perspective. It's uh, absurd that we're here in the first place. Yeah, exactly. So why is so, there anything so, so, as you've yeah. asked? <laughs> and so therefore, the ultimate solution or the ultimate answer has to be absurd. Uh, which absurdity? I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> <laughs> Let's drink to absurdity. <laughs>